In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Michael Vick gameplay, Randy Moss gameplay, and the new Deion Sanders gameplay for you guys in Madden Ultimate Team. What's up? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to the channel before, I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks videos that are designed to give you um, just different tips, both on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball that can help make you a little bit more effective in this game. So if you're interested in what we do here at the channel, I would highly encourage you uh, to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Um, and uh, we upload, like I said, we upload four videos a day, uh, one at two o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at six o'clock, and one at eight o'clock. We're going to be live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We're also going to be live all day tomorrow on Christmas. So um, if you guys are interested, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and um, and we'll see you out there. Now, I have the new Michael Vick card. I have, the, I have pretty much all the new cards that were released. This is Alvin Kamara at running back. Um, I have Michael Vick. Now, with Michael Vick, the abilities that I'm using on him, um, I am using the Escape Artist, and I'm also using the Gunslinger. So he costs 6 AP, which is way too high, and I honestly don't recommend using Michael Vick until they raise the um, cap, the, they raise that, that uh, threshold. But um, I'm actually really enjoying this play right here. Drive post with Vic. I can roll out and then just release people. Um, what's also really nice here, because he's got 98 speed, right? Without any... Um, I have him... Um, I don't know exactly. I can't think off the top of head what his speed is stock without any uh, chemistries or anything. But um, I do know that when you put s double sprinter on him, he's able to get up to 98. And then if you obviously have like the Falcons team or something like that, um, he'll be able to go. But again, I can release this right here. And you see, he can really do a lot of damage um, on the on the run. OK, now this isn't like uh, last year where you could just roll out, you know, every play and, and basically be fine. You are going to pay a little bit of a price for that as well with stamina and things like that. So um, at the right time. And right here, Randy Moss, you just got Moss. Unfortunately, he doesn't react to the ball. I don't know why that just happened. I've been having a little bit of issue with lag. I don't know if there's something going on with the servers because so many people are playing. But that should have been a touchdown. Unfortunately, we got stopped there. So it brings up a fourth and two. And I got to be, um, this is the play that I really like to go to on fourth down. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a delay fade out there. My slot is going to be on um, this little slant. And essentially, I'm going to try to read uh, the crossing routes, the short routes, just kind of see what, what all opens up. And Taysom Hill let me down once again. That's the one issue with Vic, too, is like, I mean, there's a couple issues with the Michael Vic. I don't think that he's the best quarterback in the game right now, okay? He might be the best quarterback in the game uh, whenever they raise the cap because what they're going to do is they're going to raise the cap to uh, 12. Right now it's at 10. They're going to raise it to 12, okay? Once they raise it to 12, and I, I believe they're going to decrease the amount that Gunslinger costs for mobile quarterbacks, so they're kind of de redesigning the game to make it mobile quarterback friendly, honestly, probably for Michael Vick um, so that people use him. So that's just something that you need to be aware of. But once they do that, once they raise the uh, cap to 12, that's going to allow you to do a little bit more uh, on your wide receivers. And I don't know how that wasn't intercepted. Now on defense, um, real quick, I didn't talk about this. On offense, I'm running the New England Patriots ebook, which is an amazing offense. I'm running a very simple version of it today because Vic doesn't have because I don't have any route chemistries on the field. Normally, you want to tight end apprentice and you want to slob prince if you can get both of those. Um, it's darn near unstoppable, in my opinion. Um, even if you just have a tight end apprentice, but I'm actually running it with no abilities, which is kind of bold. Um, just because with without some certain routes from the tight end or things. It can be a little bit challenging. But I'm running that on offense. On defense, I'm running my 46 um, ebook, which you can pick both ebooks up in the description. But uh, basically, what it is, is I'm going to sit in nickel three through five until you absolutely force me to get out of it. The way you force me to get out of nickel three through five is by doing stuff like what this guy's doing, where he's running a lot, right? Where he's doing a lot of this stuff right here. So now I'm going to go to something like this, blow up the run a little bit, show him that I can stop it. And that's why I love this defense because it goes from nickel three through five, which I believe nickel three through five can create the best pass coverage defenses in the game. So you have that on one A. 
And then the next thing that you're able to do with it is um, you're able to audible into, um, and that's got to be an interception. Um, you're able to audible into all different coverages. You can run cover four, you can run cover three, cover three cloud coverage. You can run all sorts of different coverages. And the icing on the cake is you could go to this nickel normal as well. But the other reason that I really like this defense is because it gives you the best personnel uh, possible that you can get on your field. So that's kind of the why behind the what there. And we're able to get the SWAT. I don't know why we didn't get any interceptions. He threw at me like 500 times in that drive, um, but that's fine. So I'm actually going to flip my trips, um, I think, this game. And the reason I'm going to flip the trips because I want to take advantage of Vic rolling out because this is this is what is going to be really, really powerful for Michael Vic. You're going to see this a lot. Um, you're going to basically put your tight end on a delay fade. You're going to roll out. If they're in man coverage, um, they're going to struggle to stop this delay fade, right? But basically, you're going to do something like this. Do a quick read here. Release that tight end. You see that right there? See how good that can be? Um, that That's going to be the new, like you're going to see a lot of people doing that. You, you've already seen a lot of people doing that from like bunch tight end. Now, if he's going to run a lot of man coverage, this is also an advantage. Like you have a Moss or you have something like this. And I broke this tip down today on my YouTube channel. Basically what you do is you put him on a streak, motion him to the back. And you see there he mo he goes with him. Uh, and then there's Deion Sanders. So you, th this play I think is going to be tough, uh, because you have so many options. You have the delay fade, you have the quick throw to Kamara, you have the playmaker to Deion Sanders with that playmaker ability. I think playmaker is a must have at this point, but you see here, cover two, we're going to shoot Dion right up the seam, click on, and there it is. That's what playmaker does. That, by, by having the playmaker, he gets a sharper cut, gets a better cut. It's really good against man. I think it might be better against man than against zone. Um, I also think you're not going to see a lot of man coverage anymore. I think you're going to see very little man coverage. You're going to see a lot of people shifting to zone defenses, which is why it'll actually be really interesting to see because they're raising the cap for acrobat. Um, so the most acrobats you can have on your field is six, uh, which I actually think will be uh, a huge deal, a huge change. There it is. There's Calvin making a Calvin play. That's 6-5. All 6-5 of him makes a huge play right there on that post route. Um, that's why you use for Calvin Johnson. Um, some people would say you should use for Isaiah Simmons. I just feel like you need Isaiah Simmons to do what, like, I just don't think it makes sense to use your best player, right? I mean, use somebody that has really good physical attributes but doesn't have all the other ones. So that's why I use her Calvin. But drive post. So basically what I'm doing here, honestly, is I'm looking at the streak. If that's not open, like right here, look to the streak. That's not open. Okay, come back side. Normally, Deion Sanders is going to be wide open. If both of those things break down, um, then I'll roll out and hit Taysom Hill. That's kind of my strategy with this play. And where you get in where you get in danger of like screwing this, I think this literally might be the perfect play. With Michael Vick being uh, as good as he is with net 90, 90 plus speed here. Like you get something like this, you can get out of the pocket and like, look at that throw. I know I threw a pick, but like, I know I threw a pick, but, and it's probably gonna be a pick six, which is fine. Um, but that's what you could do. I could throw I should have thrown a little bit earlier. His safety. Uh, I think he has Calvin as well. His safety jumped it, which is fine. Um, we threw it a little bit early, or a little bit too late, but basically, what you're as you're rolling out, you'll pull the user. The user will always, oh, I, I'm telling you, from for the life of me, and and really, what's really nice about this when you have a mobile quarterback like Michael Vick, um, the difference between Michael Vick and Rich Gannon is that with Rich Gannon, and I love Rich Gannon, like basically, what you're making the decision of is do you want to roll out or not? Because if you want to have the threat of rolling out, I don't know why I can't flip the play. Um, if you want to have the threat of rolling out, you need escape artists. And the reason why is because you literally, you can't really roll out and throw without it. I mean, I just, you're not, not well. Um, and 98 speed as compared to, you know, 88 speed of Rich Gannon. Um, there's really no comparison there. There he goes, man covers. That's what I'm talking about. Huge dot. And that's even with that cover. That was cover two man, right? That was cover two man. So, you know, you're able to hit that. And I actually think the fade works a little bit better than the streak from this.
But you see here, they double team you, and we'll just throw that away. But I think you're going to see a lot more people use zone coverage. We should we should have rolled out to the other side. Uh, I really think you're going to see a lot more people use uh, zone coverage now because they're going to need the zone coverage. They just are. But the, the, the delay fade to the tight end, like, that's literally going to be what everybody does. And what's interesting is, like, that's what Henry was doing, like, probably one of the first couple weeks of the game. Roll out. Now the spy goes with me. That's what we're, that's what we should have, that's about the timing you want. Like, as you're rolling out, you don't need the tight end to block anybody because you're out of the pocket. So you just release him up. Um, once his man guy, and if, if somebody's manned up on the tight end, that man guy will blitz because he's basically a spy because the AI is telling him that the tight end is, is blocking, right? So that's the uh, reasoning. Roll out. And see, then you can hit stuff like that. Like that, that's why the rollout, like I, I think the, that's what makes Vic so powerful. His ability to do that, like that's what, that's what makes him so good. And that's why I'm saying like, you could literally run this all game long, um, this play, because it just has so many answers. Like there's just so many things that this thing gives you answers to. And honestly, like, even though people would say you shouldn't run this play on the goal line, I actually think it works pretty good on the goal line because you'll see here if he if he glitches out, and I'm gonna throw a pick again. Dang it! I should have put him on a. What I think is you should put him on a fade. Maybe not put him on a streak there because that that guy can play it. But if you put him on just like a little um, a little fade route where he does a little stutter step and goes to the outside, I think that could actually be really good uh, from that. But that was a bad bad job by me. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go down. You got to believe he's going to run the ball. And Sean Taylor makes a good play. I would like to see a pick six right there. He He's shown that he doesn't want to pass. Like, he really just wants to run. Um, he really just wants to run the ball. I'm going to use a rush him. See, when you get down here in the one, like, that's where with – and that's why I love nickel three through five wide so much. Um, because it just does things like the, the, the combination of those two, like really does work perfectly together. I'm going to try to use a rush him again. Nope. Can't. And he makes a bad read, throws it out of bounds. So now like right here, I feel like you have to punt the ball. Uh, I totally jacked up my play call. Um, and honestly, I really like to go for the punt block here. Cause, cause he's shown like. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our fastest guys in. Try to anyway. Okay. So pump block, straight rush. We're going to click on. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Go off sides. Go off sides. It's not letting me go outside. No, we got lucky. Oh, that's why you cannot. Like, you have to look at the guy. I'm going to try that little concept that I was talking about. You have to look at, like, as a defense, you can't just pick your play. You truly do have to look. You have to always check in kickoffs and all that stuff in case people do stupid stuff like that. But what I'm going to do with Moss, I'm going to try this out. So, like, if he's running man coverage, I should be able to hit this, this, um, this route to Moss. He goes. Yep, got, got it. That's what I was looking for last time. Perfect. So if you put that's instead of putting him on a streak, because if you put him on a streak on the goal line, I don't know why, but it kind of like it kind of like suctions your receiver to the inside as opposed to allowing you to throw it to the outside. When you're able to put him on that little fade right there, it basically means they can't run man coverage on you uh, in the red zone, which I think is so valuable. Um, to the back, let's put the back on a streak. There he goes. And I got to make a throw. I should have hit. I had Deion Sanders. I was trying to throw Deion Sanders right there. But that's, I mean, that's that's, a, that's not bad. Of a, that's not bad. I didn't get the, the, the flip, though. What I also like is, let's say you're facing someone like this. You can kind of turn this into uh, two for five to play gap. Because in, in uh, two four five double A gap, I'm trying to remember, you have both outside linebackers. You have two middle linebackers, 
when you when you you can kind of turn Mike and I, I need to do a video on this, but you can kind of turn this into two four five delay gap. You know, basically right here, you see, come down, um, and I can I can run a really aggressive style of three three five wide. Three three five is the ultimate defense this year, and 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 really with the ability to go from three three five to three three five wide, you're able to get the best personnel um, on the field too. So see like right here, we'll throw that deep third out there. Now we're playing zone coverage. I got clicked off of my guy, unfortunately. But that's that's kind of how you can that's kind of how you can really dial up pressure um, if you want to, and then you can bluff it. You can you can you can do all of that stuff. Um, I got my adjustments got jacked up. That's got to be a pick. I'm right there. So uh, defensively, like he's been doing, he's obviously been doing really good. Um, Our adjustments got jacked up. We almost got a pick on that. That's why Acrobat's so freaking important. You, and that's what'll be interesting. Like when they switch out of Acrobat, and you don't, you're not able to use that anymore. It'll be really interesting to see what what people do. Here we're just gonna go with kind of a, a standard coverage. Honestly, um, good read by him. Good read by him on that. But what, like I said, the reason I do, the reason I use this formation as my base, I think it affords you the ability to do uh, some of the best things um, in the game as far as uh, pass defense. And then you can still do your everything else that you were doing. And I don't know why he didn't fumble that. He might be he might be on conservative, but really right here he just took his last time out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run uh, Mabel coverage. If I can get my adjustments off, so basically he has to throw everything. So our our job is just to keep everything in front of us. See right here. So now 20 seconds, like the runoff is gonna make it. He's gonna have to spike it and take a field goal. So he has seven seconds here. It's time for one more play if he wants to. Um, as far as red zone defense, honestly, I'm a big believer in. I'm actually a big believer in just cover four in the red zone. Of course, as I get dotted, but I think we're gonna get lucky. Yep, we got lucky. So good half of ball right there. Um, I feel like this guy's got good squad too. He's got a good team. Um, his reads are okay. Uh, running ace close. But, like, with Michael Vick Gunslinger, I think that's really going to help um, mobile quarterbacks. If he keeps doing this. <laughs> My adjustments are not working. So I wanted to use a rush right there. Good job. Those are where, and, and that's where like a lot of people ask me, how much do you blitz? Um, I actually think my blitzing is going to go up with the, with the next update. Um, just as far as like what people are going to be doing uh, right here. This is like the perfect time to bluff something. There we go. So yeah, that's, so we, we kind of bluff that double A gap pressure um, style there. We still were able to get pretty good pressure. Uh, and now we just got to execute, 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 execute. Uh, three points is fine here because it's still going to put us up by three possessions. Or, or, I'm sorry, by two possessions. So realistically, what I'm just trying to I, I can't turn the ball over. That's the biggest thing with this right here. But you'll see. I mean, I really think this is the best play in the game. Like, no, no, no joke. Um, because of the playmaker, because of all you things you can do, um, this has to be one of the best plays. And nobody's in the middle of the field. Oh, that's a touchdown. I should have rolled out with Vic. Like, that's a touch. That's a touchdown, guys. I had a touchdown to Dion over the top. See, what you what you see him, he's going to have to start doing is he's going to start usering, um, getting a little bit aggressive with his user, actually. Roll out. And he's going to give me Vic. See, see what Vic can do? Like, 
it's the threat of that too. So it's going to force him to spy, which is going to mean there's one less person that they have either in pressure. Um, so you can sit back in the pocket and just dissect them. Or obviously uh, you can roll out. See how, see how good that route is. Like that's just a check down. So if you want to roll out with Vic, like this realistically could be the best way to do it. Fourth down here. Um, I'm just going to go for it. Honestly, not the right decision here. I should kick field goal, but we're going to roll out and Kamara. And that's what the wheel route does. If they're, if they're not playing like hard flats and stuff like that, you can hit that wheel route really quick too, or you can wait for them to cut up field. It just forces them to play Mabel on the left side. Um, I mean, it just forces them to do a lot of stuff uh, to stop this. There you see it again. But you're basically just clearing the middle of the field out for for um, for Taysom Hill to be able to work or to be able to just hit your playmaker. Um, your playmaker is kind of the hidden thing that most people don't uh, prepare for. There it is again. There's that fade. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Boom, baby. I'm feeling great right now on offense with that play. And I literally, you know, people probably in the comments will say, you ran the same play the whole game. And the bottom line is I did. I, I literally did. And it's darn near impossible to stop if you make the right read. And for those of you watching, this is how I learn a new play. Um, I literally go into a game and I just use it over and over again. See what stops it. See how they adjust. I think that's how I do it. Then we'll go to the reads. And there it is. There's that delay fade in the... Um, that's a good play for the red zone. That's a good play. Gives you a lot of options. It gives you a lot of options. The cool part is they're not going to blitz you. You got Vic. Like, I just think that... Just wait till he can get, like, a hot route. Like, a, a slot apprentice or something. Uh, this is going to be... Like, Vic will be probably the number one quarterback for a little while once they raise the cap to 12. Because once, like, he's good with six uh, with the way it is right now. Like, he's pretty good, as you're seeing. Um, once they raise the cap, uh, what that's going to mean for Vic is he's, I think he'll be only costing about 5 AP. I'm pretty sure that's what he'll cost, about 5 AP for everything you need on him. Um, then you're going to be able to have two AP for your tackles. I'm pretty sure they'll, I'm pretty sure that'll stay the same. Um, so you'll need two AP for your tackles. So that's going to be seven AP. And then the next thing that you're going to have, um, oh man, I don't know how I caught that. Threw it in three people. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so you got seven AP for Vic and your tackles. So you have five AP left to work with. Um, and those five AP, I definitely think it's really, really important to have a playmaker ability, right? I really believe that's important. So, uh, you want to have a playmaker, at least in my opinion, you don't have to, but I think it works really well when you do. So you're going to have a playmaker list. That's going to probably cost you. I think they might be raising the cap on that to four. So if they raise the cap on that to four, you're going to have a playmaker ability, but they're actually getting ready to take, and that was just a great, that's Calvin Johnson making Calvin Johnson plays. Um, they're going to change it in the game uh, where Chris Cooley is going to be able to get tight end apprentice for only one AP. So you're going to be able to still have your tight end apprentice, your playmaker, everything. It's going to make trips really, really good. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay of these guys. If you have any questions, shoot me a text. Also, if you want sample plays of my New England Patriots ebook, just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. We have three hours of footage for you as a sample, a completely free sample for you um, on Madden 21. So if you want to pick that up, and, and here, by the way, guys, that offense works on both current gen and next gen. Um, so, so really, really good material. I think it's the best offense in Madden, um, with some of the new changes in Mutt, um, it's definitely going to, um, it's, it's definitely going to see, uh, you're going to see it be even better, uh, just because of the different players, different styles. Um, it's going to work really, really good. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, shoot me a text. If you want to get that sample formation, shoot me a text as well. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. We will be live all day tomorrow. So um, be sure to come hang out at the channel. Uh, any questions, like always, just shoot me a text. If you want to pick up the guides, they're in the description. Thanks for your time.